Within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, uh, hips, like they were like the brain uh, implant uh, picked up what I was doing with my hips. So that was uh, like yeah, the best outcome I think for everyone. When there is a spinal cord injury, this communication is interrupted. Our idea was to re-establish this communication with a digital bridge, like an electronic communication between the brain and the region of the spinal cord that is still intact and can control the leg movement. So when everything is installed, the patient has first to learn how to work with his brain signals and we also have to learn how to correlate this brain signal to the spinal cord stimulation. But this is pretty short. In a few sessions everything is linked and the patient starts training. <laughs> <laughs>